Hi there, teachers. It's Scott from MITD. I've had a lot of teachers concerned about how they're going to engage their students using Teams this year, and also those blended teachers that have to not only engage the kids who are in front of them, but also using Teams to engage their online kids at the same time. So we're going to talk about that, but I want to come back to one key concept that I'm going to keep coming back to this entire time. When you are engaging your students online, you will be doing it through screen share. That means that if I can get something up on the screen that I want my kids to look at, not only can my kids online see it, but my kids who are in the classroom can also see it because I have it on the same screen. So we're gonna start with, what if I want them to see something that I'm pointing the camera at? That's where the document cameras come in. If you have one of these hover cams, it, the, the decision is easy because you're gonna find out really quick. It only has one cable, and the only way for you to get an image out of this document camera and onto your computer is to open it with an app. That's right. These document cameras, you don't just switch between do I wanna show my Elmo and do I wanna show my computer. You're always showing your computer. The way that you get to your document camera from your computer is by opening up the app. It brings up your document camera. This one happens to be upside down. I'm going to flip that. And now you have it in a window on your computer that you can show whenever you want. I'm going to come back to that. Now you're saying, Scott, what if I don't have a hover cam? That's fine. If you have an Elmo, it does the exact same thing. You just need one USB cable that hooks it into the computer and then you can get the ImageMate software that opens your image from your um, Elmo the same way that I'm showing you here with the hover cam. So it doesn't really matter which one you're using. As long as you can get that image on your computer screen, then you can share your screen with your online kids. So Scott, what does that look like? I'm teaching, I'm getting ready to teach. Well, let's take a look. I'm gonna open up my Teams here. And for the purpose of the purposes of this video, I want to show you what my kids are seeing. That's going to be this camera here. I want to show you what I'm seeing as a teacher or what I'm clicking on. So I'm going to put that on the screen. But I also want to show you what my online kids are seeing. So when I get ready to start this meeting, I'm going to record it so that I can edit this later. Let's go ahead and start a new meeting. It's asking me right up front, which camera do I want to use for this meeting? I want to keep it on my laptop. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but if I use my laptop camera for the meeting, then I can save my hover camera, my Elmo, for my instruction. So I'm going to keep the meeting part on my uh, laptop, have that connect, And as soon as it does, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and start a recording so I can show you what my online kids are seeing. There we go. Now here's the kicker. Remember, I want to do all of my instruction by screen sharing. So I'm going to hit the screen share button. It's going to ask which screen do I want to share. I'm just going to do the desktop right now. If we were on extended desktops, then I could choose which screen I wanted to show and which one I didn't. But right now, that means that my online kids are seeing anything that I put up here on the screen. And guess who else is seeing it? My class. My class who are in front of me are also seeing it because it's on my smart board. So what kind of things can we do? Well, I've still got my hover cam connected. I'm gonna turn this around. I'm gonna open up my hover cam app, make that nice and big to start my day. And when I flip it up, look what I see. So hello kiddos, welcome to first period Scott class. We are gonna be talking today about a lot of different things. I know I've got some bell work for you. Actually, I should have brought some bell work for the demonstration, but for this demonstration, I'm just gonna put my mask down here. So I want you to work on this bell work for the next 10 minutes. Notice how I'm just modifying what they're looking at here. And the kids, they're gonna be able to see all this because of where I'm pointing that camera. Again, I'm just sharing my desktop. When I want them to see me again, I pop this back up and I can talk to them directly. The kids in my classroom, they're hearing me also. So I can do this simultaneously. Now, what if I need a whiteboard? What if I need some other kind of um, um, 
instructional aids, how do I do that with my digital students? Well, all I have to do is minimize my camera now and bring up something on my desktop that will give me a whiteboard, such as Smart Notebook. Smart Notebook is basically like PowerPoint, except you can draw on it, and I can have as many slides as I want. So if I pick up a pen here at the Smart Board, and today we're gonna to be talking about math, and then if I need a new page, I go over here and I start talking about science. Well, guess what? Every kid who's at home watching me is seeing what I'm doing on the board. They're not seeing me, but they're seeing my board. And everybody in class is seeing me writing on the board. So I have that ability. If I minimize that, maybe I want to show them a website. I can go to any one of my online tools and start uh, talking about the things that they need to do there. I'm going to minimize that. What if I bring up um, some kind of activity? I could, anything that I can put up here on the board is going to go to both groups. I did want to show you what PDFs look like. Now, this one I'm going to pause a little bit because normally when I open up a PDF, it opens up with Adobe Acrobat. There is a different way to do that, and that's by changing how, which program opens this up. If you right click on any PDF on your computer and go down to where it says Properties, you can change what program opens that uh, document, and I recommend using the Smart Ink Document Viewer. The reason that I recommend doing that, and I'm just going to open up, I guess, this safety and security thing. <laughs> It's, oh, it's our orientation guide. I'm going to open up this PDF, and I know we're getting a lot of PDFs as teachers. One of the things that I like about this program, it lets me zoom in and zoom out, but it lets me use my markers to annotate directly over it. If I move things around, notice how the ink stays. If I zoom in or zoom out, notice how the ink stays. So if I come over here and I start saying, you know, I want to highlight this section, I want to draw your attention over here, I'm doing all of this for both sets of students. And this, again, is a PDF opened up in Smart Ink Document Viewer. If I don't want to have that up on the screen anymore, I minimize it. Maybe I need to go back to my class and clarify and talk to a few students. Um, I know Chris is going to uh, talk right after this video. I have a companion video that goes along the, with this. For any teacher that wants to try to set up dual monitors or try to have their instruction on this screen, but their students on that screen. So if you want that, go ahead and click on his video. But this is how I see blended classrooms or digital classroom, classrooms working with your hover cams.